Uh, here's some of the activities we did for the inertia lab. First thing you're supposed to do is figure out how you can get the quarter uh, into the cup. And you can see if I just pull on it here, it doesn't go into the cup. So how can I get the quarter into the cup? You can pause the video, try it at home. And here's how you can get the quarter in the cup. If you flick it fast enough, the quarter will basically stay there. Uh, remember the quarter has inertia, so by its very nature it wants to stay where it is. So what happens is if you flick the card fast enough, the quarter will stay in its location as you pull the card out from underneath of it and it stays where it is. Now eventually gravity takes over and drops it down, but that's actually not the point of the lab. The point of the lab is that the quarter stays exactly where it is and because the quarter has inertia. Very similar to when I pulled the tablecloth out from the table setting the other day. Now what would happen if I try this with a lighter object? So I just pulled off a little piece of paper and put it up there, a little hard to see on camera. And if I do the same thing, can I get the paper to stay in there and do you think the paper would be easier or harder to uh, get in the cup than the quarter? So one way you could test that if you can't tell directly is by putting them up there both at the same time. I'm going to flick it just hard enough to see if I can get one in without the other. Oh, too hard, I got them both in. Okay, turns out that the quarter is easier to get to stay where it was in this location right here as opposed to the paper. And I'll let you think about why that is. Remember uh, the conditions for inertia. Uh, look in your notes on inertia related to mass if you need some extra help. Hey, we also did an experiment with a high tin. Uh, here's the goal here. What you're going to do is you're going to let this marble go around the pie tin like that. And here's the question. When the marble leaves the pie tin, what direction is it going to go? Is it going to continue to go in a circle? Is it going to go in a straight line? Or is it going to curve out this direction? Uh, pause the video and make your prediction on your paper. All right, let's see here. So if I just fling this around in a circle, you're not going to be able to see it go around the back side here. Uh, I'm going to fling it around in a circle. What direction is it going to go? Is it going to go this way, this way, or this way? Okay. So here we go. Do that again. Okay. One more time. Turns out that the marble goes in the last direction that it was going when it left the pie tin which is in a straight line like this. Right? So inertia predicts that the marble will go in the last direction it was traveling, and the very last direction it was traveling was in this direction, so it continues in that direction. Right? Sometimes it hits a little lip over here and forces it the other way. Right? Oh, something like that. All right, um, now. I got two eggs here. Label them E and G. Okay? Spells part of egg. So, uh, how can we tell which one's hard boiled? <laughs> well, you're going to spin the eggs. And you're going to stop the egg for a second and lift your finger up. Now I'm on a hill here, so it rolled down, but there we go. I'm going to do the same thing with this egg, E. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to let my finger off. Bad this desk is on a slant. There. Notice it keeps spinning even after I let my finger off. So this egg stops, rolls down the hill because I'm on a slant. Too bad I'm on a slant. <laughs> and this egg, when I stop it, it will keep spinning after I let my finger off. So, 
Uh, again, you're gonna try to explain that in terms of inertia. This may help you. I have some pepper here in a cup. I'll add a little more. And I'm gonna spin the cup for a minute. Now imagine the white, or the, um, the egg, inside the egg is the liquid inside this cup, and the cup itself is like the shell. So I'm spinning the egg, spinning the egg, spinning the egg, spinning the egg, spinning the egg. Now I put my finger on it and stop it. Stop the egg from spinning. Look at the inside of the egg. What is it doing? It's still spinning. So uh, you can use that data for makeup data for your lab on inertia.